Hey guys, it's Olivia and welcome to Presents Box to You. Today I'm going to a book review about the first reaction I like movie by Reed Brad. This is the first book in the first reaction uh, series and it's really fun. This is based off of Greek mythology and it's really fun. So what happened here? So this this is obviously the first book, so obviously in the first book yeah, th there's a lot of introductions, so there's a lot going on. So Percy is in the sixth grade in the first book, and he's he goes to this academy called Yan Nan a uh, Yancey Academy, and his best friend Bulbar is actually a satyr, which means he's half goat, half person. So the bottom half he's a goat, and the top he's a person. Yes, he's a person. Uh, so. So basically Percy is going to the school with Grover and Grover and so uh, Grover is Percy's protector and uh, so basically what satyrs do from Camp Half-Blood is go into schools and find the demigods and bring them safely to Camp Half-Blood which is a ca summer camp where uh, the demigods go to but it's not necessarily a uh, summer camp, it can be all year round. Like but most people like stay like stay for it in the summer, but so in Camp Hafla only half blood slash demigods are allowed. So I'm a mortal and my mom's also a mortal, so I'm not a demigod, so yeah, I can't go inside there. So basically there's Chiron Chiron or uh Mr. Brunner in the first few chapters of the book I stated is he is a sent for and also goes into the same school as um, Grover does. So uh, uh, um, Chiron is like the teacher and wants to bring, he's the camp director so he's trying to bring them like bring Percy to Camp Hafle with Grover. Usually, uh, Chiron doesn't do that, but because Percy is a child of one of the big three, which means uh, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, and they are the like most important three gods out there, and they made an oath not to like have children, but Poseidon broke that oath. Also has Zeus, but you would not know that in the first book. So yeah, uh, so they bring Percy safely to Camp Half Club, but her, his Percy's mom is like half dead. He's like she's in the possession of Hades. So that's what happens. And now that uh, Zeus and Poseidon are actually like fighting, they're not at peace. So uh, Zeus thinks that Zeus's lightning bolt has been stolen. And he thinks uh, Percy has stolen the uh, lightning bolt because immortals can't steal each other's weapons directly. So now that Poseidon has claimed that Percy, yeah, also uh, I forgot to mention the fact that Percy is the son of Poseidon. Yeah, I just said that. So yeah, so Zeus is Zeus wants that his bolt returned by the winter, you know, the summer solstice. So Percy has to, you know, give the give it back, but he doesn't actually have it because he just found out that Greek mythology and stuff are still around. So, um, so Chiron and the whole Camp Half Blood gang thinks that Hades Hades stole the lightning bolt, which is not true. But they think, but they think that. Hades stole it, so they are going on a quest to go to Hades and tell him to give it back. Give it back, yes. And so Annabeth and Percy and Grover go on the quest. Mm -hmm. Annabeth is another demigod, he's a daughter of Athena, and they go on this quest. They meet Medusa and they meet the Minotaur. Well, I meet it with them in before Camp Half Blood, but yeah, the Minotaur kind of like half kills Sally, who's Percy Jackson's mom. Like I said, so they go to Hades, but then okay, so before they go on the quest, they so Percy gets every before every quest they get a prophecy, and and in this prophecy, 
one of the lines I remember is that a friend will betray Percy and that doesn't happen while on the quest so they go to Hades, they ask for the bolt but Hades doesn't actually have it uh, Ares does actually at the end of the book and, and at the end of this book Ares battles Percy on the beach and then gives gives him the lightning bolt and also Hades' like helmet has also been stolen a helm of terror so that's why he Hades was mad at Percy he thinks he stole it too so he got uh, back the god's properties I mean priorities so that's what happened in the first book also in also while they're in school a fury uh fury is a servant of Hades and attacks Percy because he thinks I mean she thought he stole lightning bolt so that's what happens all in the book also at the end of the book Luke be Luke is the one who betrayed Percy Luke is the uh, is a child of Hermes and he's the head counselor of the Hermes cabin but he ends up betraying them in the first book well that, well yes he betrays Percy and the whole camp and is now a servant of Kronos so that's how the book ends. I really love this book and I think you should definitely check this out. Have a nice day and bye!